Hi, welcome to our channel. I hope you guys doing well. Today we are going to learn about evolution of cloud computing in brief. Here we are going to learn every stages of evolution which is necessary to know. Let's begin. Let's know about evolution of cloud computing. Cloud computing is all about renting computing services. This idea first came in the 1950s. In making cloud computing what it is today, five technologies played a vital role. These are distributed systems and its peripherals, virtualization, web 2.0, service orientation, and utility computing. Cloud computing has evolved from the distributed system to the current technology. Cloud computing has been used by all types of businesses of different sizes and fields. 1. Distributed system. It is a composition of multiple independent systems but all of them are depicted as a single entity to the users. The purpose of distributed system is to share resources and also use them effectively and efficiently. Distributed system possesses characteristics such as scalability, concurrency, continuous availability, heterogeneity, and independence in failure. Continuing distributed system but the main problem with this system was that all systems were required to be present in same geographical location. Thus to solve this problem, distributed computing led to their more types of computing and they are 1. Mainframe computing, 2. Cluster computing, 3. Grid computing. Let's learn about mainframe computing which comes under distributed computing. It came into existence in 1951. It is highly powerful and reliable computer machine. It is responsible to handle large data such as massive input-output operation. These systems have almost no downtime with high fault tolerance. It is very expensive. The reduce the cost cluster computing and grid computing came as alternative to mainframe technology. Cluster computing. Nodes must be homogeneous. They should have same type of hardware and operating system. Computer are located close to each other. Computers are connected by high-speed local area network bus. Computers are connected in centralized network topology. Scheduling is controlled by central server. Whole system has centralized resource manager. Whole systems functions as a single system. It's used in web logic application servers, database, etc. Grid computing. Nodes may have different operating system and hardware machine can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Computers may be located at a huge distance from one another. Computers are connected using low-speed bus or the internet. Computers are connected in distributed or decentralized network topology. It has many servers, but mostly each node's behaviors independently. Every node's managed its resource independently. Every node is autonomous and anyone can opt out anytime. It's used in predictive modeling, automation, simultaneous, etc. Now virtualization comes into picture. It came into existence 40 years back and it is becoming the current technique used in IT firms. It employs a software layer over the hardware and using this it provides the customer with cloud-based services. Web 2.0 the computing lets the users generate their content and collaborate with other peoples or share the information using social media. Web 2.0 is a combination of the second generation technology World Wide Web, WWW, along with web services and it is the computing type that is used today. Fourth stage of evaluation is service orientation. It acts as a reference model for cloud computing. It supports low cost, Flexible and evolvable application. Two important concepts were introduced in this computing model. There were quality of service, QoS, which also includes service level agreement, SLA, and software as a service, SaaS. Last evaluation stage is utility orientation. It is a computing model that defines service provisioning technique for services such as compute services along with other major services such as storage, infrastructure, etc., which are provisional on pay-per-use basis. Now we are knowing the all stages of evolution which comes under cloud computing. These stages are the most important stages which we should remember. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the like button, share it with a friend so that he can benefit as well, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to learn more about other topics, check out our playlist. Thank you.